Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. Tiafibo Lopez talks the one today with versus Rolando Romero, says Romero has enough to be tank. Former lightweight title holder Tiafibo Lopez coached up with fight hype and shared some quick thoughts on the upcoming fight between Jerwan the Tank Davis and Rolando Rolly Romero. And while the betting odds are clearly in favor of Tank, Lopez says he believes Rolly has the attributes to pull off the win. Lopez on who he's got in the Tank Rolly fight. I've got the fight fans, of course, and I'm gonna go for Rolly. He works hard, he has enough to beat Tank. I mean, Rolly is right about one thing. They've been putting Tank with guys. They know that's not gonna give him that up north competition. Right now, Rowley is the one giving him that up north competition because of the power, because of the match, and because he is fighting a real 135 pounder. And Rowley is awkward, and it's hard to find an awkward fighter. I don't care how stylistic you are. And all these guys are training their asses off. They are gonna put all the hell of a performance. And all Rowley is. And all Tank is. Tank is 10 right, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. And I'm happy to see a boxing how it is right now. A Bellskin vs Haney fight. Like I said before, I think it's a given fight for Haney. He is gonna win, he is gonna outbox him and just do what he does. I believe we are gonna meet up at 140, Lopez said. They were sizing each other up, jaywing each other for what seemed like two strange minutes. But by the time trending Callan Ford managed to pull his charge away from the wearable forecast, Gervonta Davis had seen all that he needed from his boss Torios Nemesis Rolando Romero. He's soft, Davis, the hard hitting Sospa from Baltimore, told a group of reporters about what he gleaned from his opponent in that exchange. That's where he is, he's soft. In a mostly well behaved yet at time, the Ants press conference at the Park Life Center to announce their May 28 lightweight boat on Showtime pay per view, Davis and Romero picked up the withdrawal where they had last left it. In October, when they initially met to promote what he was supposed to be a showdown in December. But after Romero became the subject of sexual assault allegation, he was yanked from the main event, forcing Davis instead to go up against the game Isaac Cruz whom he won a beating by unanimous decision. Yet upon the conclusion of a police investigation, the Las Vegas-based Romero and all that, if relatively experienced, Puncher himself was not charged with a crime. That motion paved the way for Oli to get a second chance to go up against a fighter that many observers regard as one of just a handful, if that, of legitimate boxing draws in the United States. Nature men likes the other very much, and they remind each other of their animal city. Tuesday afternoon on the dais as they headed questions from host Brian Custer. You see his noise, right? Davis 27 said. If I hit him with one of those, I'm gonna knock his wild noise off. Look at his nose. His nose is, like, really small. Me 28, you're getting knocked out. Romero 26 retorted. We're ending your little reign. You can go retire. And that's that, said Rolly. King's country's new territory for Romero was father was a well-regarded boxer from Cuba, but is a familiar one for the well-traveled Davis, who picked up one of the early signature wins of his career here, a seventh-round technical knockout of Jose Pedraza to win the IBF junior lightweight title. At the time, Davis was still an undercard fighter, perhaps better known to the larger public for his association with his promoter Floyd Mayweather and friend Adrian Brunner. He was also battling through some bumpy chapters in his life. Five pounds and five years later, Tank, now a father to a baby daughter, will headline Berk Lies for the first time. He seems to have found some measure of peace in his personal life, signs his title win in a fourth in the venue. His recent tweets concerns his promoter, however, suggests that there might be some trouble afford. Davis refused to answer queries on that issue, and his comment to his own, touting a public persona seemingly undeserved from the Money May brand. He has emerged, moreover, as a bonafide boxing attraction. No small fear given how the sport has literally struggled to maintain its hold on the mainstream. We know what we come here to do. Davis said as told he were a grizzled veteran. This is not the first time we have been here. One thing is for sure, Romero has never been here. In their press conference last October in Los Angeles, the brush and Claudia Romero very well may have stolen show. He showed up in the noonday heat, wearing an oversized four-cost range out of the Mac. 
Open it up to reveal no shirt, only abs. In Brooklyn, where it was wet and dreary all day, Romero was decked out in a similar sartorial concept, wearing a colorful, almost psychedelic Dolce & Gabbana suit and it was. Once again and button it to showcase his bare torso. It's different when they talking on social networks or anything like that. Never said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel.